Well, what do we have here? Hey boys and girls, I'm Nick in the States, and right now we're going to unbox a Shang Zi Guitars BC553, which is in the style of the semi hollow body Gibson ES355, 335, something like that. It's supposed to be in black. Should be cool. Um, Jason, who is the proprietor of Shang Zi Guitars, formerly Bad Cat Instruments, or also known as Bad Cat Instruments, um, shipped this out because he wanted to get the word out for the um, kind of new name, new business rebranding, that kind of thing. So I can get into that in a minute while we do the unpacking. But first, some details. This shipped out on the 16th of uh, October. That's what month it is. It's October. It was. Wow. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Anyway, shipped out on the 16th of October. I got this in November 1st. So it took just over two weeks, two weeks and change, of which about 13 days of which it was just somewhere over the Pacific. It left Qingdao, Q-U-I-N-G-D-A-O, but I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, and it just took a while to show back up. Showed up in New York City one day, and the next day it showed up at my office. That is cool. So, let's open this thing. While I'm doing the opening, um, I don't know if I'll be able to talk too much because it's loud. We have a vacuum at the office. So. Alright, let's turn that there. So hopefully you'll be able to see as we undo the key things and parts of this. Um, everything looks like it got here safely packaged. So this is supposed to be a solid top, black guitar, gold hardware. Um, sticky grossness. And it's a guitar. I can tell you that. Now, what do we have here? We have a cool little, well that's a first. It's a strap. That's awesome. I haven't gotten a guitar strap since I bought like, a, like an American Standard Fender many moons ago. Outside. Now, I was concerned when it was announced that uh, Bad Cat was changing the name because I love the picture of the cat on the headstock. And thank goodness the cat has stayed. And I think the Shang Zi actually looks really well done. That's really kind of cool. And this is the hollow 553. Five, Very good. And these, they say Grover, could very well be Grovers. And on the back, an actual serial number. They now do a stain over it, so it says made by BCI. QC passed, 100% uh, inspected and set up at BCI Bad Cat Instruments. Look at them raising their game. That's cool. All right, this is the slow reveal. You can't just give it all away at once. Um, nice looking rosewood neck. Yes, they're still shipping rosewood. So nobody has cracked down yet on the Cites, Cites, Cites Treaty. Um, but well done, no grabby, black backy. I'm gonna assume that it's a multi-piece neck because they all are. Now, ooh, ah, uh, oh, all right. 
That's what she looks like. That would be all of this one. And that looks like your Gibson ES355 or your Epiphone Sheridan. There is a solid mahogany-ish wood center block that runs the whole way. See it there. I can see through the F-holes that these are full-size pots, not the small Chinese ones. No quill tapping or anything like that. Three-way switch, not bad at all. Um, nice, normal shaped pickguard. Two gold uh, humbuckers. Bridge is a little high, but not too... I've seen higher, a little bit high. I can probably bring it down just a little bit too there if I look at the action, but... Oh my god, she shipped out of tune! What kind of company is this? Nice weight though. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels substantial, but not back-breaking. Um, yeah, man, that is cool. It smells like a guitar. It looks like a guitar. Allegedly, it plays like a guitar. I'm kind of impressed. So neck is comfortable. It's kind of a shallow, not too thick. Um, not a hard seat, kind of a shallow seat, not too deep. It feels like... All in all though, man. That is really good. So let's look at some of the details. Um, we'll get in nice and close. Oh, it's gonna try and... Unfortunately, it's gonna try and focus on my face. So multiply back, multiply top, bound F-holes, cool Gibson style speed knobs. I'll tell you, the, the rosewood has got a nice figure and pattern to it. It's not like completely anonymous. I dig that. And the headstock, look at the headstock. Headstock be cool. Um, yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. Let me just quickly grab my tuner and tune it up. Now these strings are, unlike say a Harley Benton or whatever, are going to be those cheap, stretch out, have a hard time to stay in tune Chinese variety of string. That just happens. Plus it should also be noted that this guitar has traveled quite a long distance here. And so the probably need to adjust the truss rod a little bit, that kind of stuff. That just happens. It's been exposed to uh, you know, different temperatures, different pressures in the plane, all that kind of stuff. So Two things, especially in this price range, it's always worth budgeting for a setup, a new set of strings, that kind of stuff. You'll need it. And if you don't, then it's gravy. Actually, not bad. The action's a little high, but I think I read it down, but it's not, there's no buzzing anywhere. So not, yeah, actually not, not badly cut. A little snug on the strings, but from a string height as it crosses the first fret, really not horrendously bad. And honestly, the neck is not as straight. There you go. 
So yeah, this is the Shangzi Guitars uh, Hollow 553 in subtle black. I think this goes for, gosh, I want to say like $259 uh, when I saw it in their eBay store. Um, and all in all, very, very cool. Very interesting. Um, I've got a throw a set of tunes on, uh, strings on this, kind of just set the action a little bit, adjust that, see what I can get away with, and I'll have a full demo and review coming up in the next couple weeks. So anyway, thank you, uh, Jason from or Shengzi Guitars, Shengzi Jia, for sending this guy out. Very, very cool. I can't wait to plug it in and play it in anger. As always, folks, I've been Nick in the States. Yes, I have issues. Thanks for coming by and let me share them with you. Take care. You're still here. You need to go home. The video's, it's, it's over. You've moved on. You should, I mean, you could subscribe right here or watch these things, but there's, there's nothing else to see here. Just move along.